How's it going everybody? The Seer here, and you've probably seen a lot of videos come out right now regarding Battle World. Well, my experience is a lot different than those other videos that you are seeing. The main reason is I wasn't there for the announcement of what Battle World was going to be, who the main boss was and everything from the Envoy Summit. So my experience and what I went through is really different than theirs. When I ended up joining the Envoy program, a little bit later is when they basically said, hey, there's going to be the play test for Battle World. We all ended up using our level 75 accounts, their accounts. Um, everybody was blue one, and we basically did the missions for what was recommended at that level. Now, based on my experience, I didn't know really how Battle World was going to play out. So I kind of went in with fresh eyes. So when we ended up going into Battle World, this was kind of the UI that we saw, and I thought it was really intuitive. I didn't want to know how to navigate this. I want to go in blind. So when you end up going into Battle World, you can kind of see what zone uh, list is on here, which there's these six zones, one, two, three, four, five, and then the, the boss node for Null. After this was really cool, I kind of stay on the screen a little bit just to like really enjoy how it looked and how you're going to navigate through it. And on, on here, you can see that you need about 60,000 points to go from node or zone to zone. Um, when you end up going in, these picture here is different than what you see on the website. If we end up going into the website portion of this, you can see that there was actually the, uh, four of these regular nodes. You have your elite mission and then the spec ops. Now, what ended up happening was due to the feedback that we had of the level 75 accounts, they ended up dropping one of these regular missions, and then they ended up drop adding in a Herald mission as well. We kind of swapped it around. So we have two regular nodes, we have our Herald mode, and then we have our Elite mission and our Spec Ops. Um, I'm going to kind of get into what this Herald mission is later on, but this basically came due to our feedback of pushing back saying, hey, this needs to change. When we end up going into the spec ops portion here, um, I was a little confused on this screen because all of them were actually already completed. So I couldn't really send anybody out on those missions. But basically what happens in here is you select what spec ops you want to do. You're going to choose who you're going to send on these missions. And when you do that, you're not able to use these characters on those nodes. So you kind of need to navigate with your alliance on who you're sending on spec ops who is going to be ideal for each of the nodes. Like if you have a Spider-Verse node and this is telling you to send out Pavitra, you would need to send out Pavitra and try to figure out the other one better because all of these points to get that 60,000 to go to zone two, then to zone three, you don't want to get left behind. You need to make sure you hit that 60K. Anything beyond that goes towards leaderboard. Now, as far as what happened on the first play test, um, it was so easy, it felt like chores, honestly, to be able to get to that zone six. Everything was basically you load in, you hit auto, you go through six waves, and then from there, you go to the next day. And you do that for the five nodes Then you send out. So it really felt like another raid that we had to do. Considering we already have our Orcus raid, we have our a spotlight raid then this was on top of it then there was this screen time to where it was we had kiln tower at that time there was war and cosmic crucible at that time it was just so much screen time i fell behind i did about one maybe the first two days so i did two days of the testing i took a few days off then i kind of tried it out again to see if my initial reaction was correct and it honestly was now, everybody kind of had the same feedback regarding this to where it was. This is just another raid. Why are we really pushing towards this when there's so much more that we can do for this game mode? Now, when we ended up having the call with the developers of this, we kind of echoed that same sentiment of saying, this is a new game mode and it shouldn't be this easy. We need more challenging content for PvE players, people that enjoy 
not the PvP aspect of this game. Um, so that's kind of where they decided, well, let's try to make that Herald boss. So some of the feedbacks we were given was, let's have some interesting mechanics on there, like Lord of the Rings or the early campaign days of using like a uh, shield operative, use the special four times to get through it. Instead, they made it to where it's your five characters versus their five characters. And these are all high mind characters. So they kind of keep another the theme of that. It was actually really cool. So I was really excited of the changes that they made to this game mode. Then we got to do the play test two. That's the missions that you kind of see in the video right here of of two of these node missions of city and spider verse then you have your cosmic or for your herald missions you have to use your cosmic characters to really get the buffs of it and then you just kind of fight into these high mind characters it sounded really cool and we used our own roster and the difficulty was too easy um basically went in i still hit auto and everything because where my roster's at and that's where some of the fear and ugliness came from like the good the bad the ugly if my roster is here and there are kraken level players that's much much bigger they are going to be so bored with this and i don't want that to happen so we've still been giving them feedback of saying hey we need more difficulties that difficulty four is a seven red requirement blue five you can go into the diamond one purple one diamond two purple two and then diamond three purple three and then have something that goes beyond that to really push these high-end alliances so i'm really hoping there's going to be more difficulties for us to push through on this so we can really make this game mode successful um as it is right now it really feels like daily chores of five days and then you kind of get your treat at the end so day one do the dishes day two do your laundry day three do your homework Day four, eat your vegetables. Day five, clean your entire room in the house. Day six, here's your vegetables. Now you get to fight Null. Null is amazing. It's such a fun encounter. Now, when we faced him, we didn't really get to do the, the battlefield effect here to where you see Null in his throne. We kind of fight him like the streets. So like, I don't think they had this portion ready yet for it. But seeing the strike spot video of... Pathfinder and Strike Fox, and they kind of show that teaser of when you go in here, you're hearing Gwar's music, and it's really exciting and it amps you up and gets you so excited for it. I was feeling that even without the music and the setting in here, you get your three attacks into Null, and based on the damage that you do, um, it looks like there might be some rewards based on how you how much damage you do to Null, and if you kill Null. Um, I, that might be how you get Null Shards. I'm honestly not sure how we're getting Null unlocked. They haven't died, given us the information yet. But I'm still optimistic and excited about Battle World, even with all of that being said. I don't think they're going to try to release this game mode and have it flop, which is why they've already made these changes. Adding in the Herald mission, adding, removing another node. So that way it's not just so much auto portion of it and kind of too much screen time. I think they are trying to be aware of that, which is a good thing. Um, knowing that they're adding more uh, game mechanics into it, like that thirst and hunger event that we have, it gives me hope that they're able to start implementing some of that into Battle World to where maybe the second season uh, we can do something where Say we go against like a high evolutionary and they could start adding in like if you're using animals like rocket or things that kind of got altered by him they can start adding in like the hunger and the thirst portion into the nodes i think that would be so cool they have so much that they can really do to push battle world to its limits and make it like a premier game mode as opposed to something that feels like another raid and kind of a letdown I don't see them just releasing it, having it flop, because as it currently stands, for the rewards that we get in here that you can see on the website, it's going to be purple ISO. There's going to be the store where you get purple ISO as well and characters. They need more 
rewards in here because Krakens already have everything at Diamond 3, Purple 3. So they need something more. Um, for people that's not at that level, we can add in like Dark Promos and then start adding in Silver Promos and Dark Diamonds. There's a lot that they can really do because as it stands, people that have Odin unlocked or Krakens, we don't really need that purple ISO. I've been saving mine mainly because I've only been investing in the new characters and the reworked characters. I don't want to go back and throw purple ISO on a team like Infinity Watch or the Nowhere team. I don't want to do that because they're so far in the past that these new teams and characters coming out, they just blow them out of the water. So I just hoard these and then I only invest in the new ones. So I'm feeling really good about where my purple ice is at, my purple ion stash. They need more than just purple ISO to really dangle that carrot in front of you. I know they're trying to make it to where it's Noel is the main reward right here. And he is, but once we get him unlocked, then what like how soon until the following battle world boss comes into the game so that's kind of where my head is currently at um i had some good experiences with the null fight the bad was how easy this really was just lo logging in hit auto put the phone down five six minutes later pick up the phone go to the next node hit auto and doing that five times for five days then I can finally beat Null. The ugly is the rewards. I think they need more than that purple ISO in here to really get people excited about this. Um, I'm sorry I'm not like full excited. I am excited for what this can be. And they've been listening to feedback, which is why I'm still happy about Battleworld coming. But let me know in the comments what you guys have for concerns, what you're excited about. Who do you want to be the next Battle World boss as well? I'd really want to hear you guys' feedback on that. But if you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.